we can now prevent half or more of all heart attacks. The first step is to determine your risk of heart attack, high, intermediate, or low. The risk model was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association in 2001 based on Adult Treatment Panel 3 recommendations. High risk means a greater than 20% chance of having a heart attack or dying from a heart attack over the next 10 years. Intermediate risk means a 10 to 20% risk of heart attack or heart attack death over the next 10 years. And low risk means a less than 10% risk of having a heart attack or dying from a heart attack over the next 10 years. We determine your risk level from your medical history, blood pressure, smoking history, age, sex, and blood test. First, I'll go over the things in your past medical history that indicate high risk. Please answer the following 10 questions, yes or no. Have you ever had a heart attack or a stroke? Do you have angina? Have you ever had a TIA or a mini stroke? Have you ever had coronary artery bypass graft surgery or coronary angioplasty or a coronary stent? Have you ever had carotid endarterectomy? Have you ever had any other type of vascular surgery? Have you ever had vascular balloon angioplasty or a stent placed in a blood vessel in the neck, abdomen, or legs? Do you have peripheral vascular disease? Do you have an abdominal aortic aneurysm? Do you have diabetes and are you over 40 years of age? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then you are at high risk of a heart attack and also at increased risk of a stroke. If you answered no to all these questions, you could still be at high risk. The next step to determine your risk is to calculate your Framingham risk score to see if you are at high risk. To calculate your Framingham risk score, you'll need to get some blood tests, a fasting lipid profile, you'll need to get blood pressure measurements, and you'll need to answer the questions about gender, age, and smoking history. You can use a home blood pressure cuff or use the machines at drugstores and other places to determine your blood pressure. And you can now get whatever blood tests you want online without having to see the doctor first and often they'll cost far less than if you get them through your insurance especially if you have a high deductible just go to google and type in blood tests there are websites on the internet that you can go to and order the blood tests you want online the results of these tests then are sent directly to you and they can also be sent to any doctor you specify. When you have had your blood pressure and your HDL cholesterol and total cholesterol results, go to the Heart Attack Risk Assessment 2 visit for women or the one for men and see what your risk is. People who are at high risk for heart attack are also at increased risk of stroke. And the things that lower your risk of heart attack will also lower your risk of stroke. In heart attack risk assessment visits two and three, together we'll finish determining your heart attack risk. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.